Hiya, I'm Julie Lagasse. This is my year in food, day seven. And today, it, the sun is out, it's starting to feel like spring, and I'm getting very excited about that. And I'm also missing home, so I'm missing my New Orleans uh, terribly today. So we're gonna do a little something uh, called dirty rice, kind of dirty rice, Cajun rice. Um, they call it dirty rice because usually you put chicken livers or gizzards, giblets, all that kind of stuff usually goes into the rice and when it's cooking, it's finely, you know, they chop it finely, but when it's cooking it kind of turns everything this dirty color. Um, so that's how dirty rice ever came to be. But we're, we're going to do a different take, we're going to do a kind of dirty rice. So what we're going to do is use ground pork instead. You could use ground turkey or beef, you could add some pork sausage like andouille or something like that if you like. But I'm just doing plain old ground pork and loads of veggies and we're also going to do some collard greens to go with it. So we've got some kind of dirty rice, some collard greens, all for day seven, my year in food. So let's have a look at all the goodies before we get chopping and cooking. So let's talk collard greens since that's in the back there. So we've got loads of greens gone through and all I've done is kind of gone through and de-ribbed as much as I could. It's fine to leave some, but literally you can get just a bag full of these. That's not what we want to eat. So I've gone through and got all the good stuff. Um, and that's about a pound of greens. You could do any kind of greens you want. Mustard greens, collard greens, kale, whatever. Um, we're going to do that with some onion and garlic. Really easy. A bit of chicken stock and I'm going to do a bit of crystal hot sauce. You could use any Louisiana hot sauce. Like a Tabasco or anything like that. But it really does something to the greens. I love it. It gives it a nice bit of heat, of course. But it's that vinegary flavor as well that I just love with green. So we'll make those up and let those bubble along. That's going to be really easy. And we'll move on to our dirty rice. So we've got some ground pork, the holy trinity y'all. You know what that is. Some bell pepper, some onion and celery, um, some more garlic. We've got a cup of rice and we're going to do another two and a half cups of chicken stock and chop up a bunch of fresh parsley. Look at all that parsley. It looks so great. We're going to chop a bunch of that up to add in as well. And this is really going to come together pretty quickly on the rice front. So you want to get your greens going first. So I'm going to get everything cleaned, chopped up into the pan, and I will see you in a minute. All right, so we've got a large skillet with deep sides. And we've got our ground pork just browning along. We're going to let that keep going. And our very large pot, bigger pot, um, I've got the onions and garlic in just about, I'd say two tablespoons of olive oil, any oil you want, and that's all cooking down and sweating out, so they're nice and soft, so I'm going to go ahead and add, oh this is going to be interesting with the one hand, I'm going to add in the kale, let's move that guy, I'm going to add the kale, now keeping in mind, or I'm sorry, the greens, Keep in mind, all this is going to cook down loads and loads and loads. So even though you might fill your pot to the brim with green, don't worry because all of this is going to really cook down. And again, this is about a pound of greens that we've got here. And now I've got about four cups of chicken stock. I'm going to add that in. Right, so I'm going to keep going with the greens, stirring and letting those cook down. I'm going to keep, ooh, our pork is really browning over here. I'm going to stir this along, get this going, and I will be right back to show you the next step. As you can see, the greens really have already cooked down quite a bit. It's only been a few minutes, and those are just going to keep cooking down nice and slow and low. After they can have a little bubble, it's going to be delish. So we'll season those uh, once I have my two hands back with some salt and pepper and crystal. But let's get to this. So our pork is nice and browned. And now all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some garlic, just minced garlic. Get all that in there. And 
garlic, and then the Holy Trinity, which is what we had, um, which is always bell pepper of some variety, usually green bell pepper, but I've done some nice fun colors. So bell pepper, celery, and onion. And now we're gonna add that in. See, I need my two hands. We're gonna stir and sweat this all down. Turn the heat down. It's a nice medium. Okay, and I'm actually probably gonna add that. The pork that I used was quite lean, so there's not a lot of oil. So I might add another tablespoon of, or add a tablespoon of oil to this pan as well. Now, as far as the greens, you see how they're that really vibrant bright green at the moment. You really want that color to change. <laughs> when they're done, they're quite a darker green color. So these have quite a ways to go. And I'm just going to let them bubble along uncovered. And you see, even though I've gone through and picked out a lot of those ribs, they look, they still pop up. So I might try and pick some of those guys out later on as well. So we're going to season this with some salt, pepper, and a good dash of this beautiful crystal hot sauce. We're going to sweat this all out. Add the rice and the stock, and I will see you in just a moment. So see how our greens have changed from that really bright, vibrant green to darker, darker green? That's exactly what you want. And you want to keep those simmering along on a low heat for quite a while. And I did season them up, y'all. I did do a little cayenne, salt, pepper, and of course that Louisiana hot sauce, some crystal hot sauce. Now going over to our dirty rice, our taste of New Orleans. Um, this is just bubbling along. I turned, I added the rice, a cup of rice, two and a half cups of chicken stock, and now it's bubbling along. I brought it to a boil. I'm gonna give it a good stir. And then I'm gonna knock this down. Okay, we're gonna turn our heat right the way down. I'm gonna cover it. All those beautiful colors. I'm gonna cover it, turn the heat down low, for about 25 minutes and then I'll, I'll check it to see if the rice is done and we are going to have a Louisiana feast in just a little while. Right, so the greens have been cooking along. It's been about 20 minutes. They look fantastic. Really deep dark green. That's what you want. Now you could keep these going for as long as you want or cut them off now. Totally up to you. I'm going to let them go for another 10 minutes while I do everything else. So the greens are looking good, good to go. And over here are, look how beautiful that is, our dirty rice. It's been about 20 minutes really, so really quick uh, for all the liquid to be absorbed, the rice is cooked. So now we're gonna just add a lot of fresh chopped parsley. And you can be quite heavy handed with this use my hands my one hand and I'm going to give that a really good stir to incorporate all that parsley and then I'm going to just let this cook uncovered another two minutes and that's it this is ready to go okay a little taste of home a little New Orleans tree is ready to go I'm so excited it smells amazing in here so our dirty rice is ready, our greens are ready. Let's go plate it up and let's get eating. This is day seven of my year in food. Day seven, my year in food. I am having a taste of New Orleans, a taste of home. I'm so excited and I can't wait to get into this. So here is our final dirty rice that we made and our beautiful greens super easy and absolutely delicious. So I happen to have come prepared. I'm gonna have a little bite of the rice and then I'm gonna just say good night to y'all because I'm ready to just cuddle up with these two. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm home. It's Mardi Gras. I've got my music on. It's delicious. I really hope that you all try to make this at home for yourselves because this is truly a quick and easy meal that is full of flavor. Again with the greens, we did them vegetarian, but you could always add a ham hock or a ham. 
anything that you like into that. So that's it for me tonight. I'm going to keep carrying on with this. I'm Joey Lagasse. This is my year of food. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night, y'all.